this is a uh, 2004 uh, Nissan Murano so complain of this car uh, it has an oil leak and the owner already uh, diagnosed this car uh, he said uh, it's the uh, power steering pump uh, that was leaking and he also uh, adding uh, power steering fluid once in a while but then this uh, kind of problem is very tricky it might be the power uh, steering pump but also it might be the uh, pressure hose so in uh, repairing this kind of uh, uh, problem the best thing that you need to do is to clean um, clean the power steering pump and also the uh, hose and as you can see in here I, already, I actually I already di uh, diagnosed this uh, uh, car and I already uh, cleaned this with the and I did it a couple of times to make sure uh, I found uh, the correct uh, culprit and actually the problem is not that's the pump actually you can see like a teardrop right there that's the hose this one so that's fresh fluid so this is the hose going there so I clean this really good really nice a while ago this was covered with fluid so in repairing this kind of uh, uh, problem don't just uh, you know uh, replace parts you have to diagnose it everything need to be diagnosed so yeah it might be the pump but again look at the pump it's clean and dry and this look at and as you can see in here this is full of uh, fluid so it's very obvious coming from there because if the the pump is the culprit see the pump there should be also a, a fluid in here but I couldn't see any fluid although I spray with I, I spray this with a brake cleaner and then start the car for a couple of uh, minutes so yeah that's how you you know uh, diagnose this kind of problem don't just throw parts so now let's remove this uh, pressure hose so there's like a couple of bolts so we need to remove this one I think this is number 22 millimeter and also over here it's gonna be tough for me to show it to you okay hold on I think I can go over here over here there's also right there see it see that too oh I think that's number 10 you have to remove that and close to the driver's side so go underneath so this one right there that one that uh, light green one I think that's number 12 so we need to remove that in order to like pull this uh, high pressure hose power steering high pressure power steering uh, high pressure hose so the first thing that we need to do is uh, remove all the old fluid so I'm using my portable pump, back, uh, this uh, vacuum pump. So this is not mandatory, but I recommend you to do this so it won't be messy. But again, if you don't have this kind of you know uh, portable machine, that's fine. It's just that it's gonna be messy the, uh, down. So let's suck those old. Okay, after we remove or suck those uh, old fluid, now we can start unbolting parts in here. So I guess we're gonna start on the middle. There were like two 
bolt in there. I think that's number 10. So as you can see in there, so there's the bolt. Let's see if I could. So that's, this is the bolt, two of them. So one on the top. It's gonna be hold on. It's right there. That's where you go remove the bolt. So that's the bolt. And just one more here. I, I drop it. Next one. Okay. The next one that we need to loosen up is this. This number 14. Oh, using number 14 wrench and I already loosen it so it's already loose oh. we can use our hand so I don't know if you could see it but right there this is already loose This will leak. So make sure right there. Make sure there's a pan underneath. There you go. So by the way, this is number this one. This that's number 24, not 22. So I'm using a socket. And again, make sure there's a catching pan underneath. So it's gonna be hard for me to film. Just gonna loosen it and show it to you. So as you can see, it's already loose. And also make sure there's a connection in here. This one. So just press the tab and pull it. Press it. I think that's the pressure sensor. And then just remove this so there is two uh, washer so one in here and one over here let's just remove it there you go so again make sure there is a catching pan underneath so it's not gonna be messy that's it all right guys so the problem with this uh, design is that there's like a one bolt over here that holding the the pressure hose so in order to like uh, get that bolt you have to remove this uh, wiper cowl this plastic cover right here so I mean like it's gonna be a lot but oh well there's nothing we can do so let's remove this but first we need to you know remove this uh, wiper okay Let's start removing the wiper. So we're using, we're using number 14. So that's number 14. So this is the bolt. So let's see if we can remove it by hand. Alright, so basically there's no really a procedure of how to do this, which one to remove first, just make sure, don't force it. So like, see, see this, when you lift it, so something is stuck, stuck in here, so remove this, that's how you do it. So, so now just try to pull it then check if something is you know connected this one is hmm. so let's go over there in the middle Okay. 
Okay, just put it on the top. And uh, this one. Let's screwdriver. No, I think we need to remove everything. Seems like oh well. There's nothing much we can do. So remove everything. So basically it's just a passenger that hold this this plastic in here. So there's uh, a lot of number 10 bolt in here. Remove it. Also, we need to remove this, the wiper motor assembly. See it? Did you long a pocket? I cut Gravity, Kana. May salangator, may salangator nilukka. Okay, let's remove it. Okay. Asian mechanic. So I'll be showing you the bolt right there. Right there. Over here, this one. So that's I think number. 13 or 14, let's see. Okay, so this, this is the bolt. Number 12. After this, we can pull. Oh, they go. Okay. Can pull it. Yeah, hold on. So it's the old one. And take this out. It's soaking wet. It's the new one. Looking. <laughs> this is cook. Na cook dito na. Karon ka tubo tatan. Looking. So probably somewhere here. Let's remove this. So I found the crack right there. Hmm. Hmm. 
Nga makita It's not easy Go here Come on Right there, that's the crack Okay, so this is the new one so aftermarket one has a different design. So check this one right here compared to this. That's a square one. This one is this. But anyway, they have the same length. Okay. So let's put it on. All right. Uh, everything is. Uh, installed I put back everything so the cowl the wiper cowl the wiper everything is in there now so I also spray um, uh, brake cleaner so we could check if it's still there's a leak so before we start I will let you see it let's see if it works so Hold on. So, right there. So, we're checking on that. This one. So, it's really dry. Now, let's start the car. Okay. Let's start the car. I also add uh, power string fluid there. Now let's turn the wheel a couple of times. Back and forth. Okay, now let's go and check our work. Moment of truth. So let's see if there's still a leak. Oh boy, <laughs> right there, no more. It is super dry. This one is, that's a different one. That. Now it's, <laughs> it's super dry. Okay. That's the brand new parts. Alright, and over here, also no leak. Show me too, hold on. Right here. That's one. Nothing, no leak. Perfect. Alright. Okay. So that's it, done.